In our parasha, we are introduced to the Metzora, somebody who contracted the disease of Tsarat, often translated as leprosy. This was a skin malady which affected people who had engaged in certain sins, including Lashon Hara, evil speech. And the Torah tells us that such a person had to be quarantined, isolated outside of the city. And they had to do a number of other things. They had to grow their hair long. And they had to tear their, rend their garments. And they had to take their cloak and pull it down until their lip. They had to cover their faces with their cloak, with their hood. In other words, they behaved like a mourner. These were mourning practices, and they still remain mourning practices. Not to cut one's hair, to tear one's garments, and in the old days, they would cover their faces with a hood. It's quite fascinating today that in many places, young people walk around with a garment called a hoodie. This is like a jersey, a sweatshirt, which has a hood, and they put it over themselves almost to hide away, as if they don't want to show themselves. And then we look back over the last two years of coronavirus. We've been wearing masks here in South Africa. We've been under some form of lockdown for at least the last two years. And throughout that time, we were required to wear masks. And if one compares it to the Torah reading, the covering of the face is almost a sign of mourning. Not to allow other people to see your face is something that's negative. And indeed, the wearing of masks, although it has protected us from the virus, has had some very, very serious ramifications, <clears throat> especially on children, on their mental health, and some would say even on their physical health, because they're breathing in their germs all of the time. But not only that, it causes us not to recognize people. You know, sometimes I meet somebody, they're wearing a mask. I meet them for the first time. I see their eyes, but not the rest of their face. I don't see their nose. I don't see their mouth. And I conjure up an, an, a vision in my mind of what they would look like without their mask. And then at some later point, they take off their mask, and the person doesn't look like that at all. I wasn't able to really recognize them. And it's fascinating because the Talmud tells us that a woman whose husband has gone missing and is feared dead if witnesses come forward and say that they have seen the dead body, she's allowed to remarry. But what do they have to have seen? What part of the body? They have to have seen the face. And the Talmud says that they have to see the nose. The nose has to be intact. But if they just saw the eyes or the mouth, then they can't testify. Because the nose, when you see the face with the nose, it, it changes the whole, the whole perception of the face. Here we're looking at people and just seeing their eyes and not their mouths. And we don't really get a full view of who they are. Here the Torah tells us that this is not something negative. This is something done by mourners. This is something done by lepers who are sent out of society. Thank God that the coronavirus has come towards its end. So it would seem, please God, we should remove our masks and we should be able to see each other and identify one another and speak to one another face to face. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.